day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey everybody, I'm glad you're back. This is session one that we had on 22 March uh, 2020. <laughs> if somebody can see this video uh, five or six years from now. But we, we did session two that same day, two sessions. This session is dealing with the that knowing him means being justified. And the fact that we want to make sure we understand we're not telling people to go to the club. We're not telling people to drink. We're not telling people to dance and all those things. We said is that if those things are against you and you don't like doing that, don't, don't, don't. We're not caring you to do that. What we are encouraging you though is somebody comes to the body of Christ and they still like to do the clubbing, the partying, the dancing, and all those things. First of all, you can't call that sin because I don't know what that is it's in the Bible called sin. But the other piece of the fact is that you want you when you bring somebody in, you want them to grow. And if you want them to change from those type of behaviors, if you don't like those behaviors, you need to let the Holy Spirit do that change, and not you. And the other piece is that is that it's 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 the whole concept of bringing and letting somebody that's come in as a baby in Christ to grow with milk and then move on to meat. But while they're in that stage of milk, they still have things in the world. Cause you know, there's people in the church, they're supposed to be seasoned. They still got some things that, in, that they got to work on. And tell you the truth, every last one of them got some things to work on. Some may may have conquered some things, but not everything. And I guarantee you won't until Jesus comes. Amen? So no, we're not telling you to go to the club. <laughs> we tell you not to knock the people that do. We try to tell you that don't, if you're seasoned, your pastor, you, and anybody else that in the word, know how to pray and all that stuff like that, and, and just prayer warriors, and just know the word of God, and live the word of God, we just want you to keep living the word of God. You should do that. But don't put somebody down that they want to socialize, they want to go to the club, they want to drink their liquor or brandy or whatever they want to do. Like, don't, don't be sitting there putting them down. You shouldn't be doing that. You should go ahead and encourage that person to grow. And you don't want to do kick them out. And then one of the scriptures my friend came up with, he was talking in the, the uh, first, uh, second Chronicles uh, 6, 17, he was talking about uh, where that scripture that said, come out from among them. Um, and, it's, and, and this was dealing with uh, uh, idol worship and stuff, because the scripture he said in 617, Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, says the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. He was talking about the fact of dealing with idol worshiping again, because that city had a lot of pagan worship and all that stuff. He said, come out among those type of people. Well, what you, but the club is not idol worshiping, double worshiping, getting sacrificed to animals. Not in that sense. I guarantee you, number one, sit there saying they worship some devil. They're not having a religious service or a dark pagan service. No. They're just sitting there trying to enjoy themselves. So when they talk about that, they're talking about don't sit there and deal with idolatry. You know what I mean? Don't be. Matter of fact, verse 14 says, Be ye not illegally yoked together with unbelievers, but what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion has light with darkness? Okay? Now you said, well, that's even between the club. You can't say that. How can you say that? That's dealing with temple worshiping. Matter of fact, I can give you a good example because go to 1 Corinthians 5, chapter 5, verse. Uh, nine. It says, "I write unto you in an epistle not to keep company with fornicators." He's not talking about physical sex. He's talking about spiritually interacting with other types of religions and idolatry, other than God. God said, "Put me first. You have no other gods before me. If you do have other gods before you, you are committing spiritual fornication." Okay, and he says this, verse ten. Yet not all together with the fornicators of this world, or with the covenants or extortioners, or with idolaters, 
for them must ye need to go. You need go out of the world to do what? Minister to those people. But now I have written unto you not to keep company if a man that is called a brother in Christ be a fornicator or covenant or an idolater and all that's pagan worshiping. Now here's the one that's railing, railers. Now you might want to say that, wild party if you want to look at that. Or a drunkard, there's people that go to the club and some of them get drunk. Or an extortioner, or such as one know not eat. You somebody, if you're a believer and you, you, you're a drunkard, then he said, man, hey, you need to, let me give you some distance here because you 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 can knock people off, you can be picking, knock people in the head, getting drunk. You sitting there getting in a car and driving, they're going to hit somebody, kill somebody. If you can't control yourself, I need to, I need to give you some distance. All right? But he's not talking about just taking the, those people that go to the club or drinking beer or liquor or whatever and say that, that that's what they're talking about. They're talking about idol worshiping. My point is this. You're supposed to love everybody. You're supposed to go out and minister to those people. I'm not saying you need to go to the club and minister to people, but you need to go ahead and love those people. And also I'm saying is if a brother of Christ that's just going to a social event, not a double temple. Don't be putting them down. All right? Don't don't deal with that type of stuff. But don't sit there and knock the others. And if you are, then you also need to come out from among the people that don't forgive, the people that got hate in their heart, the people who uh, 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 got anger issues, wrath issues. You got to come from among them too. But you don't. Know, you try to work with them, right? Work with the people that you like to dance, all right? And if you don't like to dance, don't dance. If you don't like to drink, don't drink. I'm gonna put somebody else, put down somebody else to do, okay? All right, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Start from there. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to come and worship and praise your holy name. Father, I thank you, Lord, for all those who are listening uh, to the live broadcast. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that, that those who will be coming and dialing in, glory to God, that we'll be able to uh, receive them and they can come fellowship. And if no one can dial in today, then we're going to go ahead and just do the live video, get into the Word of God, put the Word of God that you want out. I ask Heavenly Father to move me out of the way. Let the Holy Spirit have His way as we get into your Word or as, as, as you lead me to, to get into the Word of God that will bless someone, hallelujah, somebody that wants to understand and hear from you. Allow the Holy Spirit to operate freely, uninterrupted by any satanic demonic forces or any distraction. Allow your word that you have today to be that which will, will, will change my life and those who listen should change their life. We pray in Heavenly Father for what's been going on in this world pandemic. pandemic. Uh, we ask Heavenly Father, Lord, to, to heal those that are sick. We pray, Heavenly Father, the Holy Spirit to comfort those who, who are uh, who have lost a loved one. And, and, and that number, Father, we pray that we can get that number to start going down and, 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 and we just be able to arrest the advancement of this disease. But we pray that we all listen and consider everybody as we deal with this, this pestilence, this, this disease that's affecting so many lives. Thank you, Father, for what you're doing and, and continue to, to deliver us. Father, there's believers all over this world right now looking toward you and asking for you, glory to God. Anointed the scientists, anointed the, 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 the first responders, anointed the nurses, the staff, anointed the governments to all come together. It's time now not for division, but it's time for unity and coming together and agreeing and looking to you to anoint us. Because you gave us a gift. And I pray, Father, to, 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 to bless every last scientists and doctor out there we pray Lord just to give them that 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 understanding of what they need to do to to vaccinate 
people. Hey, Brother Jackson, I thank you, Father, for all you're doing, and, and, I, and I just wanted you to just continue to lead us and guide us in all truth. Father, I thank you for all you're doing, and now we get into your word, and, and as Brother Jackson just signed in, I see him. Uh, we ask Heavenly Father just to give us that word that you want us to have today. Help us to get rid of this pestilence. Help us to deliver us from this, this pain that's going on in our life. And I know, Lord, that you're with us and you never leave us forsake us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hey, brother. Amen. How you doing, sir? How you doing? We blessed. I'm good. I'm good. Hey. Yes, yes. I I'm glad you dialed in. I was sitting there. I was looking at Chris and them. I guess they're coming in. I see some people, they, they're looking at the live video. You know what I put out on the, that little TV I have, that camera? Yes. Yeah, so that's live stream, but it's not, it's just one way. It's not a, you know, a way they can communicate. But we're, we're just, uh, right. we just go ahead and let those who listen, listen. And I'm glad you're here. And we'll go ahead and get Amen. into the word. Amen. See what God has for Amen. us. All right. Hey, I, you see the slide I got up there, don't you? Yes. I don't know. Can you read it? It's probably hard to read on the phone. Yeah. You got the glasses though. <laughs> yeah, it's a little small, but um, but I, I can I can make it out. All right. Well, I'm gonna read it, and and we'll start from there because, the, you know, I was praying while you was coming in, was about that 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 virus that's going on. You know, yes. the, the COVID nineteen, and and in fact, it's affecting the whole world, and 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 we exactly. praying for uh this thing to be arrested and and and, and isolated. And, and don't get out of control. I was looking at the uh, news yesterday. It was talking about uh, how Italy has been, I mean, been desolated or decimated by this this disease, man. It's like, wow. And what we, what we want right. to do is we pray that it doesn't get out of control in our country, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, so, mm -hmm. so what I did was the second chronicle. Old Testament, going old school on you for a second here. Second Chronicle, okay. chapter seven, verse eleven. Now you can catch it with your okay. Bible, if, and, and then you catch up with me. You get it when you get there. Say Amen. If, 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 All if, right. And then for those who are on live video, if you can get there and turn to it, I appreciate it. If not, I'll read it to you. <laughs> but remember, Bible said the whole first Bible says to learn that word, man, and. And learn to get to that word. But uh, Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 11, it said, Thus Solomon finished the house of the Lord and the king's house, and all that came into Solomon's heart to make the house of the Lord. And in his own house, he prosperously effected. Mm -hmm. The Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and have chosen this place to myself for a house of sacrifice. If I shut of heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence, uh-uh, sound like the coronavirus is one of them, huh? If I send pestilence, among the people. Verse 14, which is what I really want to focus on, is this. If my mm -hmm. people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face mm -hmm. and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin. And I will heal their land. Amen. Amen. And, and, and that's, that's what I'm saying is that there are some people sitting there say, oh, no, did God send it? No, I'm not saying God sent it. But I'm telling you right now, it is upon us. And God is saying, seek him. That's right. Seek him and humble ourselves and pray for deliverance. This is a time where the world can come together and say, look, we're, we're giving it all we got. We're going we're gonna to need you, Lord. We're going to trust exactly. in you. At least for the believers to trust in him. Amen? Amen. So I, I wanted to put that in there. Go ahead. 
Well, I was just going to say, you know, part of that is we're doing what God to do. Uh -huh. um, the, the benefits of that is the synergy that we get um, as a spiritual body in Christ. Yes. And so we tend to make the right decisions um, along the way, you know, um, whereas if we do things according to the world, um, and, and I'm and I'm not trying to, to throw spears at anybody or darts at anybody, but you know when we when we are not truthful about what's really going on, um, we are not uh, letting the the the, the uh, little man know what's going on, and being deceitful, uh, and you know maybe just looking out for just a few. Happens is that we tend to make the, the wrong decisions because we have. Um, our fleshly uh, desires in in focus and not what god wants us to have in focus which is to to serve others first before we start serving ourselves right you know and uh and so when we when we are in his word what we're going to do is we're going to see things from a different perspective yeah you know, we're going to we're going to instead of it being all about the material things and and our esteem and our status and stuff we're going to do things to serve people uh make right decisions get ahead of problems it's kind of like you know with joseph you know when he um when he you know, they knew that the famine was coming you know what did they do they took uh, care of business way ahead of time before that thing even happened and then when it did happen uh, they were ready you know what i mean right exactly you know, and, and, and that's why I said it, it we, we want to, uh, God gave us gifts and, and wisdom and anointed us with different types of abilities. And as and long as we recognize that on top of those abilities, we need Him. You know? Amen. And, and one of the things is not to be selfish and say that it's, it's my power, my strength of gotten this, is, is the Lord. You know? Yes. So, so that's why, yes. I, that's why I say at least believers come together, because you know even when we talk about the end times, the saying is that the, the the devil can't come as long as the Holy Spirit is here, right? And mm -hmm. and and and, and, and right. also to include the church. And when the church is taken Amen. out of the way, then 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 that then that the Antichrist can come. But while we're here, mm -hmm. <laughs> while we're here, regardless of when these type of things come. Is when we come together and agree, right. Lord, Amen. we're gonna trust in you for deliverance. We're not gonna trust in man Amen. by himself, but in you. Now, Brother right. Jackson, one of the things I had in the in in the study, man, I, I was trying to get my study to, to do is knowing him uh, means being justified. It's the topic I have for today. Knowing him, say, knowing okay, him, knowing him means being uh -huh. justified okay and i mean justified is justified for salvation justified for eternal life amen knowing him amen. i i meant this particular slide right here did not have the uh i on the rest of them i think i got all the slides together i guess i did for some reason let me make sure i got this right one second here Okay. Make sure I pull the right one up. <laughs> Cause uh up oh, there's Chris. Hey brother Chris. Hey Christopher. What's going on, brother? Man, we you you got you got it, brother. We glad you're here. I'm sitting here trying to okay. get my trying to get my slides up. I thought I had the right. Okay. I, I grabbed twenty. Let me see. I thought I had the right. Let me save it here. Let me see what I did here. Okay. Knowing him. It's eight thirty now. How you doing, Chris? This week. I'm doing good, brother. I'm doing good. I I was up this morning. I done went and walked the dog, did all that stuff, and I'm waiting on you to. Uh, to send out the early morning thing and say we were gonna do something. Uh -huh. So I, you know, I started watching something else. <laughs> and then the guy got on my favorite uh, subject, the name uh, Steve Fernick or something. Yeah. And he he got on the subject of uh, David and Goliath, and you know my Razor David thing. Right. Started going off in that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, hey, what, 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 what he's the Razor David thing? <laughs> well, anyway, what, what I was getting into, uh, uh, Chris and, and Brother Jax, I put the right slide in now. Uh, Chris, the topic I'm trying to put in there is uh, knowing him means being justified. In other words, you know, kind of picking up what we did last week. Is the fact is that we're justified by Christ, not by other people. Amen. And one of the things last night, I sent out my last video, man. Chris, I kind of went off a little bit. What I'm saying is, it's not only the, uh, sometimes our, our fellow believers have an issue. That's Brother Johnson, one second. Hey, Elder. You can't dial in or what? Right. You get a busy signal. Uh, you, busy you got you got you you trying to dial yeah, in through the. That's huh? You got the app right, the life size app application. <laughs> okay. Yeah, for you, for you, you use your life size application. Okay, what about the other one? Trying to call it. Uh, that, that uh, let me see. I don't. Uh, he need to see if you can tell him to uh, download that life size application. Uh huh. And then use that. Once you dial into that, you can just use the extension. Seven two seven. Okay. Okay. Uh, All right. Thanks. Well, anyway, the, the, the thing, man, I was sitting there, Chris was saying is, uh, it's not just, just believers that go off on you, <laughs> that go off on you concerning the, 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 uh, the partying, right, uh, or fellowship. Mm -hmm. it's, it's also the people, I was sitting there last, my last video, Brother Jackson, it's also the people who don't go to church, don't receive Jesus, or rejected Jesus, they'll be the first one to try to point you out for for fellowshipping and you know, far as being a believer in church, and then at the same time you go to the club, they they the ones will look at you too and talk about you. <laughs> and that's something. Right. And, and and it's like it's like, wait a minute now. <laughs> how how did what did you come in at? To try to justify put you know putting somebody down because they decided to go to the same place you'll do it. <laughs> if if you want to go to the club, why can't you go? I'm not saying if you want to go, why can't you go? And why somebody right. why somebody who don't receive Christ have the same type of phony perception of what a believer is supposed to be? A a, a believer is supposed to be somebody who received Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior and, and growing in the Lord and it takes let the Lord decide and that person decide where they should go. You know? Mm -hmm. But some, pe some people sit there trying to say, well, you know, you shouldn't be going to the club. You should be going to the football game. You shouldn't be dancing. You shouldn't be drinking wine. And I'm saying is, who told you what a person can't do? Mm -hmm. and, but they do it because they believe that's what the world has painted as the false perception of Christianity. They think a Christian is not supposed to be able to... To me, I find saying like, if I want to go to a basketball game, I, can I go to a basketball game? If I want to go to the Legion Club, can I go to the Legion Is there a sin of going to the Legion Club? Not really. Not that I know of. Uh-uh. So, so I'm trying to say is people try, like you said, people try to, it's not just believers. I'm saying there's the world also want to try to put you in a box. Yes. And the reason, Brother Jackson, they want to put you in a box, Christian, you agree, I bet you agree with this. See, to justify why they're not coming and worshiping the Lord is because, see, I can't enjoy myself. I can't live my life. I'm putting in, I'm putting, I got to live by these legal rules 
the law, and since I know I can't live by the law, and all these other people are hypocrites anyway, I'm not going to go to church. I, I'm not going to fellowship with the uh, other believers. There's Brother Johnson. Uh, okay, okay. But but you see, what I'm saying that's that's that's, that's what I get from it, Chris. It's just more like, hey, Brother Johnson, Elder Johnson. How you doing? What's up, Elder? Not much. How you doing this morning? You, oh, you had Elder had this picture. <laughs> 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 That's all right, Elder. You look all right. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Hey, be yourself, brother. You know, it's 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 all right. Chris will tell you that. See, Chris got a nice shirt, nice uh, black sweat. I mean, a t-shirt on. So I I think you could. <laughs> So, you know, if you shame, that's all right, too. But, Chris, back to what I'm sitting there saying is, I, I, I found out it's just the same with those people. Because I think they want to make you look like it's not freedom. You know? Yes, I, I, I agree with that to a point. And a, and a lot of those folks that don't go, think they're going to say something to... Or I mean, how, how do I want to say this? They're going to go, aha, you ain't what y'all ain't what y'all think y'all are. Exactly. Y'all ain't all that in a bag of chips. Right. That's what they're going to say. Right. That's what they want to do. They want to sit there and say, because you're supposed to be, see, I don't know they got an image that they want to present. And I'm telling you that the image that we caused that last the scripture did last week, that false humility, the taste not, touch not, ordinances, all that is just falsehood. And it's used mm -hmm. it's used by both sides to try to mess up a believer who's supposed to have a freedom to enjoy themselves, right? So what I did, Chris, I put down here in Matthews uh eleven. Y'all get a feedback. Yeah, yeah, what you can do is uh if if you're not talking, you can mute it. I guess that'll work. <laughs> but if not, we'll just work through it, amen. All right. Now hey man, so what you're saying is mute mute the mic if uh we're getting the feedback. Yeah, see if that happens. If you don't have anything to say, like I say, if you ain't saying nothing, just turn it off. Then turn it back on when you got something to say. Roger that. Amen. So what I'm doing is Matthew's chapter 11, starting in verse 11, and it's dealing with the uh, uh, John the Baptist. And, and the, the last part is what I want to try to get to, but I want to just read down to it first. All right? It says... Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of woman, there has not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of heaven, look at this man, at least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than John the Baptist. Because God is showing no respect of person here. It said from the day of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffer violence and the violence take it by force. Now, who, who, what, hey, Brother Jackson, what do you mean by who's attacking the, the uh, who's that violence coming from? <laughs> well, in my mind, it's coming from the spirits, the, the evil spirits, you know, Satan and his uh, horde of demons who have basically turn their backs on God the Father. Right. And you think about it is that those people, I think it's also those people who have turned their back on God the Father, Chris, is the other ones that suffering and attacking by force, attacking by violence, going after believers, trying to put them down because they do this or do that, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I, I think... Well, you, you, go ahead. I was going to say, yeah, you mentioned a good point because, you know, I, I was... You know, I answered the question probably in, a, in an academic sense, but at the same time, we got to remember because, of you know, like this conversation we're having now, we're we're uh, here in the word. 
the thing is, is that a spiritual, which is more real, which mm -hmm. is the spiritual aspect of what's going on. Right. Um, and, and I, we, I, but I'm speaking, you know, more to myself, you know, we, I tend to forget that, um, that you're right, because that's what it says there. It says, you know, um, from the days of John the Baptist until now. So, you know, what the, the fall had already happened. So if the fall had already happened, then what are the other things that are that are going on? And and so I yeah I kind of agree with you there on the um, fact that you know it's those spirits, if you will, after the fact, and what we're doing now as far as uh, uh, t t turning against the word. Yeah, is it? It's coming against a lot of things. It said verse thirteen, for all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if you receive this, this is Elijah, which was to come. Now, it says in verse 15, Chris, it said, He that has an ear, let him hear. Meaning, pay attention. And he's also talking about your spirit. Let your spirit hear. But where to shall I liken this generation? Now, he's talking about people. So, Brother Jackson, it's not just the, uh, the demons. It's the generation, the people. He said, it is like unto children sitting in the market and calling unto their fellows. Let me get the next one. One second. And saying, we have piped unto you and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you and you have not lamented. For John came, Chris, here it is, Chris. <laughs> John came needing hot wings. <laughs> Don't drink it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't drink it. You know, or drinking wine or beer or, or scotch or liquor or whatever, right? Drink it. And they say, behold. Uh -huh. they, they say, they say, this man has a devil. Chris? <laughs> Hey, Brother Jaden, that's yep. the same thing I'm trying to say. Is when this is what I think this is what people want to, and uh, that goes out and have a good time, goes out and have their beer and their 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 uh, shrimp and, and and all that other stuff, Chris. And they want you to be see they they want somebody not to do that, and then they look at you and say you got a devil. <laughs> mm -hmm. They say you crazy. <laughs> You know, cause you 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 mean you know you don't supposed to be dancing, Chris. You don't supposed to. You don't supposed to be dressing up and having a good time. Because cause you know what I'm about to say. What? He said I ain't supposed to have a good time. I'm, you know I'm I'm supposed to be straight laced, goody two shoes. You know and uh like suffering all the time. Right. You know because life, like I said, life ain't supposed to be fun if you're a Christian. See what I'm saying? That's the image they put out. Exactly. And